be you because you're the only one that's doing it and you're the best at it. So back in October of 2020, I started daily vlogging. I started because I was inspired by Casey Neistat. I was struggling to find consistency on YouTube and I had been binging his content and then I decided just to do daily like he did. But that was also the problem. I did it like he did. Instead of doing vlogs in my own style, in, in my own way, I kind of just tried to make mine look like his. You know, that was really cool for a while because I felt like I was actually, genuinely, I was learning editing and like kind of fitting things together and it actually kind of felt pretty good. But that was only for a time because after a little while I kind of started to feel like I was copying a little bit too much and I just, I could start to feel like it wasn't as genuine. So how do I fix that? I don't remember when, but at one particular point I was just like, okay, this is a, this has gone a little bit too far and I was starting to get comments about it and things of that nature. It was one of those things where I knew I was doing it, it was just the comments about it that kind of made me admit it to myself that I was probably ripping off and copying a little bit too much. What I did, I started to try and implement just little things that are really me. Like things that I've never seen anyone else besides myself do. And before you know it, I was feeling a lot better about the fact that I was making something unique. Something that I, at least I had never seen before. So while I was still inspired by Casey Neistat, I was also slowly but surely developing my own style. You always hear these people on YouTube and on the internet talk about the next of somebody. You know, the next Mr. Beast, the next Casey Neistat, the next so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. Everyone's always trying to be or find the next of somebody. Somebody who's done something really spectacular, somebody who has done something that no one else has done before. Society or just whatever always tries to find the next of that person. And I think what's funny is these people that they talk about, you know, the Casey Neistats of the world, the Mr. Beasts of the world, when they talk about these people and they say that, you know, so-and-so is the next of them, what they don't understand or what they don't consider is these people, the Casey Neistats and the Mr. Beasts of the world, when they first were popping off, there was something completely new. They, they, they were something that nobody had ever seen before. And that, right there, is what made them pop. That's what made them, that's what made them big. Because they had done something that the whole platform hadn't seen before. Or at least they were doing something that they hadn't seen before in a way they hadn't seen before. Maybe they've, maybe they've seen, obviously they've seen a daily vlog before, but they never saw it in Casey's way. They never saw it the way that he did. And so that's why it's always funny when people are trying to be the next of something. It's because you can't because it already exists. But what you can do is this. You can be you. Be you because you're the only one that's doing it and you're the best at it. If you're trying to find something original to make content about, you don't have to look any farther than yourself. And I'm learning this every day. The number one most original piece of content you can make is yourself. We've already seen Mr. Beast. We've already seen Casey Neistat. We've already seen all of these other people that people are trying to be but we haven't seen you. And like I said, I'm trying to do it every single day, trying to be more and more my own style and trying to find my style by, by trying different things in these videos and figuring it out. And I think one of the things that you'll find in doing this, doing your own thing, doing what you want, trying to find your own style, one of the things you'll find, at least in my experience, what I've found is the content I'm making, I'm so much more fulfilled in making it because it's something that I genuinely care about and it's something that I genuinely personally feel like I can relate to everything that I'm making because I'm making it based on my own experiences. There's millions and millions of YouTube channels out there, but none of them are you. Maybe they, maybe one is. None of them have the same thing that you have. They may have the same gear, they may have the same lighting, they may have the same whatever, but it's that personal touch, it's that soul that you bring or that I bring or that whoever's making a video, whoever brings, it's that personal touch and it's that uniqueness to their individual. That's what makes them special. And that's what makes any individual creator unique. And sometimes, 
finding your own style takes a little bit of work. And that's okay. As long as you stay true to who you are, that everything else will work itself out. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you saw yesterday's episode, you'll know I was extremely I was struggling bad for the idea. So I'm glad today's came kind of easy. I'm grateful. And speaking of gratitude, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.